close. Hold hands if you can stand it. We're going one block north and one block west. Miss Wilkes, you and that repeater should bring up the rear. Don't be too quick to shoot. No noise if possible. Understood. Briar retreated to the back of the line and pulled the Spencer off her shoulder so she could hold it poised and ready to fire. In line behind Hank, who seemed to be on the verge of falling asleep where he stood, Briar tried to keep watch on both directions at once. But Hank fell behind and lost his place, and Briar shoved him back into position. He was dragging, and she couldn't afford to be dragged. But then Hank was sliding back down, knocking his skinny shape against the walls. She caught him with one hand and propped him up with the rifle while she used all her weight to hold him in a semi-standing position. What's the matter, Hank? Hush up back there. I'm trying to keep him... Hank, Hank, get yourself together. You've got to walk. I can't carry you. Briar clutched at Hank's hand, and he clutched back. Wait! What is it? There's something wrong with Hank. Oh, Hank, you idiot old drunk. If you get us killed, I swear I'm going to kill you. Wait. I heard you, baby. I'm right here. No, not what I meant. Wait. Stay back. When she ran her palm against his head, Briar could detect the fractured buckle and the dangling unfastened strap that should have held his mask firmly against his face. Tighter and tighter he squeezed at her hand, and then at her arm, and then at her wrist as he tried to draw her nearer. Briar resisted. She used the rifle to pry him off her and away. Lucy crouched down close and tried to grab him. Hank, don't tell me you're so soggy you're getting fresh with our guest. But Briar grabbed the clockwork arm before Lucy could land a grip. Don't, Lucy. His mask has come off. He's been breathing it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. What's going on back there? Go on. We'll catch up to you. Forget it. We're right behind you. Get the rest of them under. Hank was standing and straightening. It's too fast. It shouldn't change him so fast. It ought to take days. It used to take days. It doesn't anymore. Lucy, what do we do? We have to put him down. Sorry. The fresh rotter reached out with bony, angry hands. Briar used her elbow to knock the swinging rifle back into her hands. The blast knocked him down. Lucy seized Briar by the gun and drew her forward and away. Farther down the block, Swackhammer was waiting with the others. Here's the corner. Follow it around to the right. I know. Hush up. It don't matter. They hear us now. Keep going, you big old bastard. I'll bring up the rear with Miss Wilkes. Lucy. Run, Iron Man. Stop arguing with me and we'll do the same. Lucy jerked on Briar's gun and pulled her toward the corner. Swackhammer and the other denizens of Maynards were getting farther ahead by the moment. Briar wrestled her way out of Lucy's grip. Not the gun. Might need it. Take the apron ties. Stay with me. Briar wormed one hand's fingers between the linen strips until her grip was assured. Got it. Go. How much farther? Lucy didn't answer. She only pushed forward. The corner. Briar felt it against her shoulder and side when she crushed herself against it, bobbing along in Lucy's wake. Lucy yanked Briar to the right and followed the wall in this new direction. They're getting away. Are we? Mm, sort of. Then slammed directly into an inrushing pod of rotters. <gasps> Lucy swung her marvelous mechanical hand into the fray, using it to bludgeon any hapless head that made it within reach. Briar got her gun propped. She had no idea if she was hitting anything important. Careful! Sorry! <clears throat> Lucy wrapped her arm around Briar's waist and lifted her up, over, and past the two fallen rotters. But something held onto Briar's hand. It's got me! No, it hasn't! Lucy swung that cannon-thick arm around and clapped it down on a brittle, flaking head. The head shattered, and Briar was horrified when she realized that the rotter had been holding her by its teeth. <clears throat> Lucy! Lucy, I think it hurt me. We'll look later. Take the ties again, doll. I'm going to need this arm. It's all I got. Briar did as she was told, and once again, she trailed behind Lucy. Lucy used her arm like a battering ram, and she used her weight to chug forward like a steam engine. Over here, you two. Fire the daisy. Fire it, and we're finished over here. It's warm enough. Bloody shit, I hate that stupid gun. It never works with... Uh. A rotter swept its reach at her breasts, and she battered it across the temple. It toppled down. When you need it. It works great. Just takes a second. Now, ladies, cover them up. 